This is Hubbard, Ohio, September 2010. We just started this job. We're taking off some old sea green slate, putting new on. What I'm showing here is the, the bottom three feet of this roof has a five inch headlap. The rest of it is three inch headlap. So the bottom uh, three feet not only has a five inch headlap, but we put two layers of 30 pound felt with trowel grade roof cement sandwiched between them. This is for ice dam protection because we've had some bad ice dam years here. And uh, this is a permanent, the five inch headlap is a permanent uh, improvement on the layout. It's not like putting a uh, peel and stick underneath the slates that's going to last 20 years and deteriorate. Right, we're going to a closer look at this uh, this roof. Bottom three feet here has five inches of head left which is uh, excessive for an 812 slope but we increase the head lap. normally it's three inches we increased it by two inches along here to maximize the protection from ice damming. And underneath here we have a double layer of 30 pound felt with roof cement sandwiched in between. This is 30 pound felt. We have a double, we put the first three feet down, spread roof cement on it, laid another layer on top of it, and then we installed the slates over top of that. So this is a, a recommended method for creating ice dam protection in an ice dam prone area. By increasing the headlap, the overlap, it makes it much harder for anything to penetrate through the roof. And uh, it's permanent. A lot of people just want to put something under the slate and think that's going to solve the ice dam issues. Well, it won't. It might temporarily, but in the long run, it'll uh, the underlayment, the peel and stick underlayment, is going to deteriorate because the slate's going to last 150 years. What's underneath it isn't. So if you have ice dam issues and you want to deal with them properly, increase the headlap in the ice dam prone areas to five inches and if you're really worried add a double layer of felt with roof cement sandwiched in between because trial grade roof cement has a very long life expectancy in a situation like this. Here we're preparing the eaves on this new slate roof installation for ice dam protection. We felted the roof with 30 pound felt, one layer, but the bottom layer we're going to double. And before we double it, we're applying a layer of trowel grade roof cement, it's Karnak 19 flashing cement professional use. Once this uh, layer of trial grade material is applied then we'll put another layer of 30 pound felt directly on top of it. This is our base underneath our eave slates which are then installed with five inches of headlap. This creates an ice dam protected eave on the slate roof that's permanent. The reason we're applying this mastic between the two bottom layers of felt is to uh, provide a sealant for the nails when the slates are installed. The, the felt underlayment is punctured by thousands of nails and it's no longer effectively watertight. 
The underlayment, the purpose of the underlayment is simply to keep the water out until the roof is installed. Once the roof is installed, the underlayment really doesn't serve any long-term purpose and in fact will totally disintegrate. But this, this mastic here lasts a long time. You can find it still intact on 100-year-old roofs. By applying a layer between two layers of felt, we're creating a long-term uh, ice dam protection uh, eave uh, installation. Adding to that a 5-inch head lap along the eaves in this uh, 812 slope will uh, make a very, very watertight ice dam resistant eave installation. Okay, here we have the second layer of 30 pound felt being installed over the mastic to create our ice dam proof underlayment. The ice dam protected eaves. The slates are being chalked for 5 inch headlap. They're 20 inch slates. That means there's a chalk line every 7.5 inches. On the bottom, 3 feet only to create a 5 inch headlap on the field of the roof. And the slates are being chalked. Uh, every eight and a half inches to give a three inch headlap. The starter horse going on. Now the bottom of this slate is overlapping that starter slate by 5 inches. That's the 5 inch headlap. That, that headlap will continue up over the bottom 3 feet of the roof where the uh, double layer of felt is. With the cement in between. line is chalked at ten and a half inches to allow for inch and a half, half overlap. The second line is chalked at uh, eighteen and a half inches because the, the slates are twenty inches long. And then every seven and a half inches until we get past the 
three foot area and then that gives us a five inch head lap and then every eight and a half inches on the rest of the roof that gives us three inch head lap in the, the field of the roof.